All right, time for another math easy solution. Here we're going to discuss the number e. I'll show you why it's really useful and also look at its derivative. So basically, um, I'll show you what the whole reasoning for this letter e is. Uh, from my previous video, I showed that if you have a function like a f x equals a to the x, uh, where a is just a constant, then this is basically an exponential function. Then if you take the derivative using definition of derivative, I showed that f x f prime of x equals to basically a to the x times f prime of zero, where again f prime of zero equals to limit approach zero h approach zero of a to the h minus one over h. So basically, yeah, this is an exponential function, and then if you were to graph them, they would look something like this. So basically, it looks like that. This is just a to the x. This is x, y. So this is basically exponential function, but this is really complicated. And then if we were to use it in real world, real world applications, uh, like population growth and whatnot, we don't want to be calculating this. So we don't want this. So basically, e Euler, and uh, he's a guy, Leonard Leonard Euler or whatever, he from 1727, came up, yeah, he basically came up with the number, he was used credit for the number E. So this number E, okay, so basically what he, sh what he argued that we don't want this, well, let's look for a number, let's say, look for a number, number such, yeah, it's such, yeah, such that, basically, yeah, we were looking for a number, let's call it E, number E, such that its derivative, f prime of zero, e so yeah, basically we want a number f prime of zero such that it equals one, so it this basically greatly simplifies it, greatly simplifies the above. So yeah, this this we get rid of this this giant limit, which is really hard to comp uh, calculate. So basically, uh, what we want then, yeah. The, so then we want a number such that limit as h approaches zero of e to the h minus one. This yeah. So basically, we want a number like this. Well, this is if you use the yeah, if you saw my other video on on this. So basically, we would replace a with e. And this is using definition of derivative. So we want this equals to one. So that also it's the uh, derivative. So if you have f prime of x equals e to the x, that's a number, the derivative will just be equal to, well, one times e to the x, that's f of zero. You will just equals itself. So then derivative, derivative equals itself this is this is very useful because it's so easy now now we know the derivative of it at any point on the the curve and uh, yeah basically this number it happens to be I'll show you another video actually how why is this happens to be e equals to so e equals to 2.71828 and whatnot so it's it's um, you know if you look at uh, this way let's say we have f of x, let's call f1 of x equals two, 2 to the x, basically, yeah. So then its derivative would just be, um, so the derivative would just be 2 to the x times, again, limit h approaches 0 of 2 to the x, yeah, 2 to the x minus 1 of, well, this is h over h and then this if you take the, lim the limit I'll show you another video how to get this get limits like this this actually it's, it's roughly 0.69 something something so that's basically f prime of 0 we'll call f1 of prime of 0 and similarly if you just do the exact same thing similarly I guess that's how you spell it whatever uh, for f2 of x Let's say equals to three to power of x. We'll get f prime of x. This would yeah. This is uh yeah. So we'll get one point one, etc. 
times 3 of x. And in this case, uh, yeah, that's f prime of 0. So this one, if you simplify it, we'll get, we'll call this f2, f1 of x equals 0 0.69 times 2 to the x. So if you see this, this one is, um, yeah, 1.1 1 .1 is 0 0.69. So basically, the graphs will be between. So e to the x is between it. So between 2 to the x and 3 to the x. And if you do it graphically, we'll just write this. Graphically, uh, so if you draw graphically, this is how it will look like. If you get this is y, yeah, and this is x. So basically, if you draw graphically, let's say we'll draw something like this. This is, let's call this 3 of x. And this is the slope here. This slope is 1.1, 1 .1, uh, roughly 1.1 1 .1 at 0. That's basically what that what we just did. And then some. this would actually be, if you draw this one, this would be 2 to the x. And its slope is actually something like, yeah, 0 0.69 at 0. And then the e would just look something in between this. So this is e, e to the x. And its slope there, its slope is equal to 1, exactly. So basically, that's what e is. Its derivative is, its, is itself based on definition. So we'll, we'll write this by definition. And then we'll actually determine it in another video. It happens to be this. I'll show you how to do it once we get further into calculus and also logs and natural logs, and I'll prove that we can get this exactly. So basically, yeah, it's in between 3 to the x and 2 to the x, and it's less than 3, again, yeah. So basically, from this, 2 to the 3, so we'll actually get 2 is less than e, and then it's less than 3, so we'll get something like that. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you learned what about E and why it's greatly, uh, greatly useful, and especially because it basically gets rid of this thing. Well, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.